Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and today I'm going to go over my empty skincare from the summer. I'm super excited to show you guys the stuff that I was used up and I pretty much got every single segment of skincare covered. So stay tuned. If you know me, you know that I don't like clutter and messes, and I'm super excited to one, film this video and get it out for you guys, but two, to throw all this stuff away when I'm done with it. In this video, I'm going to tell you what it is, what I used it for, and if I'm going to repurchase it or not, and I will also let you know why. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with soap. During 2020, soap has probably been the most purchased product, and we all know why. But... For people that have dry skin or eczema, atopic dermatitis like me, and your skin gets really dry, irritated, and sensitized by things, you know that all these different restaurants that you're going to and stores and etc., the soap is so irritating. And we didn't have a lot of options for a while, but now most stores are restocked. So what I recommend, and I have used up many of these, I can't show you one because it's gone but it's the Dove Sensitive Skin Beauty Bar. So this is a bar soap. I really like this on my hands. I have it in my bathroom in a soap dish. I use it on my hands. You can also use this in the shower as a body soap, bar soap all over your body, whatever. It's great for sensitive skin. Really any skin is gonna be able to enjoy this. Next up, I'm gonna talk about cleansers. I have two cleanser empties. One, I have the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I get the value size, which is huge. It's 16 fluid ounces, and yes, I have finished it up. Yes, I'm going to... Oh, sorry. Um, yes, I'm going to continue to repurchase this. This is super hydrating on the skin. Um, it cleanses the skin, but it doesn't leave it stripped or drying or tight at all. My one only complaint with this is that if you need to remove tinted sunscreen or water-resistant sunscreen or makeup, this is most likely not going to do it for you and you're going to need to double cleanse. That being said, I double cleanse every night with either a cleansing balm or an oil-based cleanser and then I use this and it's worked excellent for me. The next product that I have finished up is the Panoxyl Acne Foaming Wash. This one is the 10% version, but you can also use their, I believe it's 4% version and CeraVe also makes a benzoyl peroxide face wash as well. That's 4% and it's it's much more hydrating and gentle than this one. But um, yes, I'm going to continue to repurchase this. This is great as a face wash or body wash. I use this around my mouth to prevent mask knee. I use it on my back, my shoulders, under my armpits to get rid of bacteria and smell. Works amazing. I will continue to repurchase this or something like it. I want to try out the CeraVe one, so that's what I'm going to purchase next. Check out benzoyl peroxide washes in general. Um, I definitely would recommend stepping down. You don't need the 10%. I think it's a little bit more irritating. The 4% works just as well, but it's not going to be as irritating or drying. The next product empty that I have for you is an exfoliator. This is the e.l.f. exfoliating scrub. <sighs> yeah, I purchased this before I researched and knew a lot about skincare. This worked okay. It wasn't super harsh on my skin. It did kind of physically exfoliate a little bit, but I have since preferred chemical exfoliants because they're a lot more gentle on the skin and more effective. I would not recommend repurchasing this or really a lot of e.l.f. skincare. Um, if you guys would like me to do a deep dive of the e.l.f. skincare, I could go to Target and kind of look over stuff and read the ingredients for you, and I'll pick up stuff that I want to try, but this is not one of them. It just... It's underwhelming and I didn't find any irritation or anything like that, but I just think there's a lot better things out in the drugstore or online that are going to exfoliate in a much more gentler and effective way. Trash. Moving on from exfoliants, we're going to jump into serums. So the first serum that I have is, let's do this one. So this is the Alpha Arbutin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. This is going to be a great formulation to help brighten up the skin, get rid of dark marks and acne scars and um, hyperpigmentation. The Hyaluronic Acid in it is also going to be hydrating to your skin and help plump it up. So you're going to apply this to a little bit of a damp face after cleansing. Yes, I'm repurchasing this. I already have my backup. The next thing that you can use is a peptide. 
In this case, I have used up the Buffet from The Ordinary, and this is their Multi-Peptide Serum. I have already repurchased this as well. This is great. It's full of peptides, which are going to plump the skin, reduce fine lines, reduce wrinkling, and overall hydrate the skin. Same thing with the um, Alpha Arbutin. You're going to apply this onto damp skin and then apply moisturizer or sunscreen over top. Great, great product if you're looking for anti-aging. The next serum that I've used up is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. This is friggin' amazing from The Ordinary, super cheap. Uh, niacinamide is great for blemishes, it's going to help brighten the skin, and it's also going to help regulate sebum production as well as the zinc. And I really like to use that in my T-zone, my forehead, just to kind of balance the oils and prevent blemishes. And it also helps brighten up old acne marks and scars and stuff like that. So this is great. Again, I've already repurchased this and I actually repurchased a larger two ounce bottle because I know I'm going to go through it. I have the Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. This is also from The Ordinary. Now, I actually have never used this. This is not my empty, but my mom really likes to use it under her eyes and she says that it helps depuff under her eyes if she feels like she didn't get a lot of sleep or something like that. So if you're in that situation and you need a little bit of depuffing and um, relief underneath there, then I would recommend it for you. She already repurchased it because she really likes to use it, but I've not used it. But I know a lot of people deal with under eye bags and puffiness and stuff like that. So I wanted to mention it in this video. So now once you finish putting on your serums, like I said, you're going to hop into your moisturizers. So I have an, an empty moisturizer right here, and this is the Cetaphil Daily Hydrating Lotion. This is a decent product. It is the same exact packaging as the CeraVe PM moisturizer, and I would recommend the CeraVe over this one because the CeraVe is a little bit more lightweight. It also has niacinamide in it, which I already mentioned is a really great ingredient. So I think that those two are really similar, but I like that CeraVe comes with the benefit of niacinamide built in. So I'm not going to repurchase this product. However, if you are sensitized by niacinamide and you want a nice lightweight PM moisturizer or even AM before sunscreen, this is going to be a great option for you. Now, even though this is my summer's empty, I only have one sunscreen empty. And that's not because I don't use enough sunscreen or because I don't wear sunscreen. It's because I have so many sunscreens. I bought five off of Yes Style. I had one from Crave Beauty and I had several others, American sunscreen. So I had a lot of sunscreen that I have not emptied out yet, but wear sunscreen every day, whether it's summer, fall, winter, or spring. This is the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Face SPF of 50. Now, this is a zinc and titanium dioxide sunscreen. The reason that I'm not gonna recommend you to buy this is because I don't think it's a good value. So it's a small bottle, you're not getting a lot of product and it leaves a white cast. It's kind of really drying on the skin. It kind of gets up in my beard and mustache hairs, even though I clean shave them. And I don't know, I just don't think it's that great of a product. If you have super oily skin and you're pretty pale or don't mind a white cast, then this might be good for you, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. One, I have too many sunscreens, and two, the sunscreen is so similar to the La Roche-Posay Mineral Anthelos 50 sunscreen that I have. That was in my top five favorite sunscreens video. I'll link it up there. And so, I don't know, it was overall kind of an underwhelming experience, especially for the price, so I don't recommend that. For the last product, after moisturizer at night, you're gonna use a retinol if you want to get some of the benefits from a retinol. So I used up the Inky List Retinol. This is the first product that I have used from the Inky List and I liked it, it's gone. So I purchased a couple more products from the Inky List and I just recently did a video of a Sephora haul of products that I got. I really liked this product. It was lightweight. It's kind of a serum formula. It was amazing for the summer. It really helped in my nose, nose, sides of my nose, forehead area with texture and large pores. It was so great for that. I also think it kept some acne at bay. So I would really recommend that product to people that are that are looking to get a retinol. As far as repurchasing, I'm not going to right now only because I have a prescription for retinoid. So I'm going to be using that. However, I did really enjoy this and I wanted to test it out for you guys as a affordable drugstore option that you guys can get. I think it's super effective. 
And lastly, this is not skincare, but just an empty kind of related to health and wellness stuff is the Ollie Sleep Gummies. I finished these up. Uh, these come with 50 chewies. I really like this. They help me fall asleep. I don't have any like grogginess in the morning. So I would recommend these if you have trouble falling asleep some nights, have one of these, the melatonin will kick in and you will fall asleep. So I would recommend this for people that have issues sleeping sometimes. For me, I use them when my circadian rhythm is off. Sometimes if I'm up late, night after night after night, it's hard to get in bed at 10 at night after you've been going to bed at 1 a.m. Your body's just not ready to sleep. You know, it's confused based on your clock. So I will take this at 10, get in bed. By 11, I'm passed out and I have a good night's sleep. So I recommend that for this as well. So that is everything. Those are all my empties. I'm really excited to throw them in the trash. And as you can tell, I've already repurchased stuff that I want to repurchase or that I'm going to continue using. So I really appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you have for empties and what you like to repurchase. And if you agree with anything that I've mentioned here. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. Take care.